Hi guys, it's Silly here. I'm just um, trying to make a tutorial, hopefully in one take, of um, the process of how I line and sketch a little bit. Um, recently I've found a new process of lining where I use both programs. I usually am on open canvas, which is what you're seeing now. But with my new lining method, which I hope to continue, I use Sai as well. So I've pretty much got my basic rough sketch um, down that I did specifically for this. Um, as you can see it's very rough. So I'll save it as a PSD file, which I already have done, and I will open Paint Tool Sai and open it in Paint Tool Sai. Um, then I've pretty much used the Curve Tool um, somewhat to do most of this already but I will also show you how to use it um, pretend I haven't done any of this you've got the sketch imported um, it will look obviously something like this I've cropped it um, you change your transparency and you put it down um, just so you can obviously still see your details but are able to line over it you would select this inside, which is a new line work layer, which opens access to the curve tool. Um, it's really easy to use. It's point and click. The cursor is tiny, so you'll have to bear with me. But you pretty much click where you want it to start, and the line will follow your cursor wherever you go. So you follow your sketch and I don't know if you can notice because this line's a bit small but as I move this up and down it affects my previous line and this seems to be pretty much the nature of the curve tool so I selected various points just by clicking with my tablet pen on the surface of my tablet and to lock the line in place and mark it down I will double click the pen down um, I'll basically do this going over the general outline. I'll try not to be overly accurate because it's not very necessary with this. Um, as I will show you, I will render them more in open canvas. So that's pretty much it. It's a lot of pointing and clicking, but I mean, I hope you get the general idea. Um, I wouldn't worry about lining things up too much or going into too much detail at this stage unless you really want to. I'm more comfortable with um, using my hands at the moment and just using this as a base to refine. But yeah, I will save this as a PSD file and then I'm pretty much done with Psy, that's pretty much it for my knowledge of the curve tool. Um, I will open it in Open Canvas and it's given me a transparent background and obviously both my line work layers. What I'll do at the moment is just tidy this up, merge them down, I'll create a new layer um, so I have a white background so I can see what marks I'm making. Um, I will create a new layer above the line work using um, the pencil tool or pen tool I generally go with the default settings make sure the opacity is at a hundred percent the radius I'm going to keep about 1.3 um, you want it maybe a bit smaller than your lines, slightly bigger, it depends what area you're doing, I'll then zoom in um, to about 200, 300 wherever you really feel comfortable and then I'll start refining them and I'll do that by painting over them changing aspects of them as I say, um, it's what I like to call my base lines I use them as a very rough base I will make edges thicker um, and as you can see this is pretty much how I would line if I didn't have my base tools um, I would do two layers of this probably 
um, because it's easy to get bored it's an incredibly time consuming process for me which is why I find size um, curve tool a big time saver so I'll try to do this very quickly I don't want this tutorial to run over 10 minutes but as you can see I'll just start refining these lines I'll add in details add in things that probably wasn't even in the initial sketch also um, make the lines thicker where I think there'll be shadow obviously if objects are in front of other objects if you want to they're going to be more bold if they're going to be in the foreground the shadow is going to be touching it in the background I'm just trying to give more shape to these baselines because they're very unrefined I mean with this I've pretty much painted over the entire line I would also say when you're sketching and doing lines it's advisable to work on a very large canvas um, not only um, is it good to work if you plan to print out your work um, but it's good for resizing your lines when you're finished it can make them a lot more smooth But as you can see, I will just pretty much do this everywhere. I will add details to clothing, um, slight folds. These tend to give the impression of depth. And my lines can get quite thick in places. I will, I'll not paint over everything, but... I'll pretty much try and make it as smooth as possible so I'll leave that there just to show you what I mean I'll do this everywhere but as you can see they look a, lo a lot more stylized a lot cleaner and you can tell what it is a little bit better so that's pretty much how I line at the moment and I will hope to continue to use this method um, I will show you how I would line without doing that and I'll let you see some of my sketching process hopefully this won't take too long um, I'll also explain a little bit about open canvas and the event file which you're watching right now um, as I said before it allows you to watch your process by recording your brush strokes um, it's quite good at it it's a tool I've used to make speed paints and you can also share and protect files so other people may or may not edit them it's quite a nifty feature but as you can see this is um, an art trade that I did quite recently I have actually finished painting it that's why this event file is so long but this is pretty much the stages of sketching I'll sketch very loosely and um, try to establish shapes, basic shapes and outlines first and then you will see I'll slowly refine it. Unfortunately I can't speed this up as I don't have any editing software so please bear with me as we just watch this speed paint together
I also flip the image to, um, if I remember, to try and see anything wrong with it. And right now, um, I've changed the transparency of my previous sketch, and I'm just refining it on another layer above it. It's uh, it just helps to help me get a grasp of certain details. Uh, things I would have missed, perhaps. So I've got everything down before I begin to try and line. So this is pretty much the start of my lining process. Um, I will zoom in so you can pretty much see um, my brush strokes. This is quite sped up but they're generally quite short. I, I generally use a default pencil tool and um, I will probably do two layers of this. Um, basically trying to find the best line that I see when I look at the um, transparent sketch below and um, as I showed you before I'll thicken edges after these baselines but this is pretty much how I do my baselines in um, open canvas without utilizing Psy and it's very time consuming so I will not play out the speed painters we're already at 12 minutes so hopefully that's helped answer any questions you had. Thank you again for the interest in um, asking about my process. It um, made me decide to finally do a how-to video. Um, hopefully anyone else watching this has found this helpful and hopefully I'll see you around online. <laughs>